sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to the barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're going to do a beef pot pie on the grill. All right, it's easy to do. We start out indirect heating, coal on one side. Here we got a black iron pan. And here we got about a 10 inch uh, glass, uh, oven safe glass uh, pie plate there. And uh, we're going to do use that on the grill. All right, now to get started here, we're going to need a couple slices of bacon. Here I got a couple pounds of roast beef. I got some pre cooked carrots and pre-cooked potatoes. Here I've got a few stalks of celery. I've got an onion. And here we've got some uh, pie dough. And uh, this is already pre-made because we don't have Martha around here. Here I've got some butter. We got some uh, beef stock here. We got a little wine or you can substitute beer if you want. Here we got some flour. And uh, here we got some beef drippings from that roast the night before. And here we got some blend of salt, pepper, and garlic uh, and uh, for spices. Now, let's get started. We're going to we got to make a gravy here from scratch. And uh, and if you have your own special gravy you make up, you can skip this part, but uh, we're going to show you an old-fashioned gravy. And you start out with a couple slices of bacon cuz you're after that uh, bacon fat. That'll be the basis of uh, your gravy. And you just uh, fry that up. You don't want to crisp the bacon. You're mostly after that uh, pork fat right there. All right. Now to that, we're going to add a few tablespoons of chopped onion. And uh, this is an old recipe. It could be 100 years old. And uh, this works real good in these beef pot pies. Saute that up right with that bacon. Man, there's nothing like beef pot pie on a cold winter's day. All right. Now to that, we're going to add about two tablespoons of sweet butter. Now, because we're going to make a roux here, we want to we want to thicken up the gravy. So we uh, do that by making a, a basic roux. Now, back in the day. Sometimes all they have is lard, and uh, that's all you could afford. But here we've got some good bacon, some good butter. And uh, if you didn't want to use bacon, you could just say use three tablespoons of butter. Now, this is how we're going to thicken up the gravy. Like I said, we're making a roux. And we're going to do that by adding about three tablespoons of uh, flour. And we just lightly dust it into the, uh, the hot fat there. Pretty easy to do. Like I said though, you uh, you can use your own gravy, and uh, this works real well for this beef pot pie. Man, I know the neighbors are smelling this already. They're probably getting ready to climb the fence. Now, we're gonna add a little wine, about a quarter cup of wine. You could add a quarter cup of beer if you want. Just add some richness to your gravy. And here I've got last night's beef drippings from that uh, roast. We'll have that and we'll pour that in there. And, uh, and here we're going to put about a cup and a half of beef broth. Now, if you don't have those beef drippings from the night before, that's all right. Just add a little more of this uh, beef broth here. All right. Now, this will uh, slowly thicken up as we simmer it. And here I'm adding about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of that uh, salt, pepper, and garlic blend. All right. All right, a few minutes has gone by here, and uh, this gravy's starting to thicken up. And uh, next what we want to do is cut up some celery. And I got a few sticks of celery here. And uh, this is fresh celery. It'll add a nice, fresh taste to that uh, beef pot pie. And we're just going to dice up 
maybe a quarter cup. You can see how this gravy is starting to get nice and thick. In fact, we're going to pull it off the uh, direct coals there. All right. Now here I've got a, a roast. This is a this here is a beef roast from the night before. This happens to be a ribeye. This is real tender, and uh, we're going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. And we're going to do maybe a pound and a half, close to two pounds here. Now, if you don't have some leftover beef like uh, ribeye or you could, uh, you could substitute some steak, maybe a nice tender steak like a ribeye steak or a, or a New York strip steak. You want something real tender. And then uh, what also works real good with this recipe is uh, some, put some meatballs in there. We've got a, a Pit Boys style meatball recipe. Check that out. Cook up some meatballs. You can just throw some in there works real good with this beef pot pie. All right. Now, let me, uh, let me throw this celery in there. Probably a quarter cup. Throw the rest of that onion in there. In total, it's about one whole small onion there. Now here are those uh, pre-cooked carrots and potatoes, they're going in. There's about six potatoes there, diced up and steamed. And maybe a half a cup of carrots. All right, now let's clean up this table. We gotta roll out some pie dough. Now I do apologize, Martha, if you're watching this, uh, but uh, we don't uh, have time to make our own pie dough so we buy this pre-made and this works real good especially if you don't have the time to make your own pie dough I mean pit boys would rather be eating than making pie dough All right. so you can just roll this out Now this uh, pie dough was really made for about a 9 inch pie, but uh, we'll put it in this uh, 10 inch uh, Pyrex uh, pie plate here. Alright, now let's scoop in that uh, beef filling right there. getting hungry or what. Of course, uh, you don't need a grill to be making up this uh, beef pot pie. You could be using your stove top and oven, but then you'd be missing out on all that country flavor and only uh, an open fire can give you. Now we want to cover this pie with some more dough. So we'll just roll out another piece. Man, this is almost like getting religion now, isn't it? Now, if you wanted to, you could make it real fancy and put a fluted edge on this uh, pie crust like Martha would. But who's got time for that? You just want to get this on the fire. Now, here I'm putting a couple slits in the top just to keep this pie from blowing up. Now, we're gonna cook this indirect 
about 425 degrees take about a half hour might take a little bit longer and since everything is pre-cooked on the inside uh, we're just waiting for that dough to brown up all right now we're about halfway through maybe 20 minutes into this and uh, we're gonna turn this uh, pie around get some even cooking going here again we're about 425 degrees Fahrenheit then I'm gonna take some butter and uh, I'm just gonna rub on the top of this uh, pie dough here it'll help it brown up all right about another uh, another 20 minutes okay through the miracle of time this beef pot pie is done Time to plate it up. Now this will put any store-bought beef pot pie to shame. It's real easy to do, as you just saw. Now we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes because we want that uh, pie crust to firm up. And. Uh, After all, it's beef pot pie is all about a good pie crust, too. All right, let's cut it up. feed a lot of people with this pie. Real rib sticking beef pot pie. smell that? He smells good. In fact, as always, uh, I'm going to have to try a little bit of this right in front of you. I mean, that's a uh, pit master privilege now, isn't it? Next time you're looking for a barbecue recipe, check out barbecuepitboys.com.